Hello YouTube fans. Today it's my day off. I'm having a couple of weeks off work. A couple of weeks off work. And it needs to be said this. It needs to be said. And it's to do with Boris De Donson leaving. Now people would have thought I was going to go yay. They thought I was going to tear. They thought I was going to dump up and down. They thought I was going to have a mouter. Whatever. The reason why I was miserable and I was miserable. And you remember a couple weeks and weeks ago I said Boris Donson it's going, but why am I not happy? You might remember me doing that one. This fucking sums it up why I weren't happy. This sums it up. My mate, before I even read the newspaper today, one of my friends, one I keep talking about, sent me an interesting photograph of who's going to be Bollys to Dollys' replacement. Could be his replacement. And it's fucking priceless. And it fucking really is fucking sums it up about the wonderful tourists cheating us, the working doll, the working man, the working lady, all of you, it really sums it up. You can try I'm going to now straight away who could, could be Bollys to Dollys' replacement and why I'm not going, and why I'm looking like this. The first one is the Exchequer, you might have heard about him already, the Exchequer who works for Bollys. This is a man who, when he was in his tent, is, was on an interview. You don't believe me, look it up. Just type in his name, you know, the one that's Decker for the bollocks. Type it up and you will see everything. If I can ever find a video of it, I'll show you why you should never ever have this die as your fucking next boots off, five minutes off. I'll show you why. He was on an interview when he was in his tent, is, right? He's a typical public stew boy. He was boasting what a upper tass upbringing he had, he had a rich mummy, a rich dad there, went to a upper task too, your typical public boy, fucking pompous, snoop pair, upbringing, and he was insulting yous, he was insulting yous, the working people, he was saying that he never ever were with the working tasks, if you think I'm making it up, look it up, this is a die, He's never ever had working tasks. He's never been with working tasks. Doesn't know anything about working tasks. Your typical witch, public boy. Who is more or less he's going to tax you even more than what you are now. And you're trying to hear anyone who's living on benefits, who needs it. Not the ones that are coming the benefit system. I mean the ones that really need the benefit system. I'll try to you to cut bats to save this. Think I'm making it up, he even admitted himself is not for the working man. He could be your next prime minute, so. No, you've got to ask yourself, is that someone you want who actually said he's never, ever been with the worst working person? So he has no idea what it's like to be used, the little people. And I'm only saying little people because that's how the prime ministers and the government see us. I don't see you like this. I am just like you, the everyday working doll. I am a working man myself. This is a man who's never, never, never had a proper day's job in his life and he's been brought up with money. So to you honest, you think he's going to be there for you, the people. Then you've got a doe, and I will call her a doe. She looks like she's thinking long got then a 20 odd day old. Doesn't look at all like she knows what the hell she's doing. Probably fuck the country up even more. Looks like if you give her a fucking big man's job, the people not being sexist and hoministic, a woman's job as well. She wouldn't last a day. She would not last a fucking day. And then you've got another die. You might remember this dumpty head. This is a die that works in the medical surface. And this is a die who only last there when we had this fucking bullshit we're having now, the Oricon, went around and put a law that every kid in stool have got a wear of fucking face masks. These weren't people at my age. These weren't people who were in the tenties and older. These were fucking kids, people. These were kids being made to wear a mask all fucking day. I say that again. All fucking day they was wearing a mask. Imagine, right, you're a 16-year-old, a 15-year-old or a kid. And you got to wear one of them stupid things on your face all day, having it drummed in your brain cells all fucking day. And this is, could be your next five minutes off. This could be your next bodice to dollies. 
I have seen them. Half of them look snoopy. Half of them look pompous. Bridges and half of them don't even look like they give a fine shit about you, the working Joe. And these could be your next five minutes, sis. Couldn't make it up if you believe it. You think I'm lying? Even though I don't like the newspaper, anyone that thinks I'm talking out of my ass, go out. So I need a cup of bob by the sun. I don't mean there's so much blaring at the moment and putting me off I'm filming this. I mean by the sun, the newspaper. It's on there. Look it up on the internet. Who is going to be bodies' replacement? I do not want the exchequer. A man who's back there <coughs> on an interview when he was in his 20s, a man who's already got loads of money, doesn't give a shit about use, even said himself he's never been with the working trash, doesn't know what the working trash is. I have respect for you, the working people. I'm a working man myself now, and I work damn hard to get where I've got. But this fucking pompous fucking prat, do what? Lower your tats or higher your tats, as I say, I wish you would. Higher your tats. I got your tats, and this one is priceless. Anyone who's living on benefits, who needs benefits, I may add, will probably have them removed. So there's people out there, right? Like, there's people out there who are living on PIP. Now I'm on about the genuine ones, because you do get some who do kind con the system, right? But, and on art, right? And on art. Do you want to go to them fucking horrible places where you sit in a room like you're a naughty little boy, naughty little girl, have them asking stupid testings, playing game with your fucking money, what you rightly need, just for them to say, no, 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 no. You can pick a pen up, you can write your name, no, 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 no. You can say one and two, no, 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 no. You know how to pick your own fucking nose, you don't need it. Nah, fuck you and take your money off you. Because I'll try and tell you that's what will happen. I'll try and tell you it. Now you get another one. I'm going to go on by what I think her name should be called. I've got a pity to tell. I'm going to go on what I think she should be called. Bits to tell. I'll say it again. Bits to tell. This is a woman, and before I get called racist, look it up. <clears throat> She's allowing pities about the sign seekers to, to sneak on the border. She barely does anything. Bids them out of the asylum seekers and the dinky divers are sneaking on the fucking border. For I get love letters, you are a racist. No, I'm fucking not a racist. Not when it's coming out of the taxpayers' money. Not when you, the taxpayers, are paying for a biddy's amount to sneak in this fucking cunce. Don't work for a living. Don't put that shit in the system. And the fucking living in a fucking beautiful motel, probably paid by you, the fucking taxpayer. So don't diminish shit, anyone who might write love letters calling me a fucking racist. Race has nothing to do with it. Bits, Mattel, it's been about time supposed to stop this from happening. She fucking turns the other fucking eye and allows that to fucking happen. She allows it to happen. So just imagine her being your next five minutes off. Bits to tell, I've heard a lot of things about her, and let me just say one thing. Her name is not called Pity Patel. It is not. I need named off Bits Patel. The biddies bits going. So these are the people who could be taking over Bollies to Dolly's this fucking job. You see that brands over there? See that fucking brands over there? I'm going to put a rope right up that fucking brands there, wrap it round my fucking neck, and fucking hang myself. It's just the shit we've got to put up with. So you've got an arsehole that if... And I'll turn to you here now, the two going on about the Oricon. Right? <coughs> got a cough, ain't got the fires. The two going on about the big bad stare of the Oricon. And you've got the scientist who's saying that, oh, it's going to fight you to immune. Uh, so basically making me have to feed fat scenes was fucking worth chat shit. Weren't worth fucking diggity fucking D. And... Uh, Going on about the Oricon fucking B, but I got bullshit five just to promote the next fucking booster. I would say to the scientists, I heard one today, if it fights your fucking immunity, which by the way, it should be getting weak now, and it outsmarts your fucking vaccine, what is the point of having a fourth booster then? Just tell me that, Mr. Scientist, because I heard you today when you were going on and on and on, same shit like they all come out with. And you said it fights its immunity and it makes the fat seeds, it makes the few pricks I had in my arm 
pointless. What is the point of having the four fucking boosts on? I don't advise anybody. It's up to you. I'm only advising, so I don't get shit from YouTube, so you tell people what to do. Right? I'm advising, there's a difference. Why bother having the fourth booster when this is the shit you've got to show for it? And it's priceless. One of them said, well, people have only had the first dose. No, they did not have the first dose, Mr. Scientist, who said that. This was a big no scientist, by the way. Right? No, they did not have the fucking first fucking dose. Big amount of people have had the second booster. And excuse me if I'm right or wrong. What's there, what's there not? That's there at the third fucking booster. The third fat seed. Correct me, people, if I'm right or wrong there. Do you let me if it's scientists who are coming out with the same BS that, oh, it fights its immunity and it makes the fat seed pointless and we've only had the second dose. Did we or did we not? That's there at the third fucking dose. Yes, we fucking did. So cut the fucking shit, Mr. Fucking Scientist. Well, I keep saying it's going up, it's going up. Thousands a day are getting it. Because I ain't going to have the fourth booster. Why should I buffer? Why should I fucking buffer when I hear that every fucking day on the fucking news on a regular basis? The same shit. Oh, it's a rave on its way. Oh, it's going bad here. It's going bad there. It's been up and down the past few weeks in Tate, Manchester. We've had zero chases the past few weeks, which never gets fucking mentioned, I may add. So why should I have the fourth boost? And I could say that to anybody. Why should you make the effort when this is the shit you've got to solve? Scientists, something this in your ass. So I'll turn to you, right? I'll turn to you. You get that big bald guy, that fucking beard, who made every kid that's there wear a fucking face mask. I'll turn to you if he took over as your MP, we'd be back to fucking lockdowns. Back to restrictions, back to wearing fucking tampons, kids being brainwashed over the fucking Mickey Mouse illness, and fucking kids being made to wear a fucking mask all day. Is this what you want to do, people, for the rest of your life? And on that, anyone who's fucking sick of it as much as I am, is this what you want to have for the rest of your fucking life? Because I fucking don't. And you know what I mean? So these are the fucking people who could be taking over Boris's fucking job. So. You know what I mean? I said it what I want from a prime minister. I said it when I see these morons who are taking over this job. And I may add, they're supposed to fix the fuck ups what Boris Johnson's done. <laughs> it's fucking priceless. They're more fuck ups than what he is. Anyway, three days off. I'm not going to let me get me down, but this is what you want for your future prime ministers. Bits to tell. Is letting time seekers in left, right and centre, putting your bills up. A die what would be made to soft masks on your kids. Um, the exchequer what doesn't do a shit about you, the working man, the working woman. So you don't, you're going to get a fucking lot from him. A bathroom probably put your bills up fucking more. Just make out it's saving and it's helping the country. Oh, Boris, by the way, was going to help that. Even though I don't like the man, I have heard rumours that he was going to try and put more money in the system to fix his fuck up. So whether that's true or not, it's a different story. But every one of these tourists did not want that to happen. I wanted the tourists well, wanted to offend our lockdowns. I wanted the, 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 the government wanted more for us and trying to help the system. Because let's get, get me if I'm right one, but and they both to serve us. You know? But, ah well, it's certainty. Always been for the ricks and always been fuck you to us. The rich get rich up, the poor gets poor off, to say in one of my favourite songs. But into them, be smart, be safe. I hate voting, and if you sign this, it keeps shoving the fear in one's face. I ain't even gonna make the effort with the fourth booster neither. Can't be asked. Into them, see you later.